Wow. Okay. So yeah, those situations yeah. are always uh, dangerous, yeah. and we're seeing the weather, you know, impact, starting to really impact stuff. Yeah, definitely yeah. leaning into that with the mm -hmm. development of a bomb cyclone. So we are under a coin six weather alert for the very potential of storm damage with those gusty winds, but also the chance for some power outages. Although they will not be widespread, as we just saw, having the potential to see them across our areas, the winds are expected to gust close to about 45 miles per hour. Boy, we've got an active storm system developing just offshore. You can see the nice cinnamon roll like style that shows that this storm is growing in intensity, thus giving it that bomb cyclone terminology continues to push its way back into our area. So it's only within about 24 hours that we can see the millibars or the lines of equal within just a day's time. That's what gives us the bomb cyclone definition. What does that mean for us here on land? Well, it means gusty winds, heavy rain and heavy mountain snow, although the biggest brunt of this system will be felt along the shoreline. So we are tracking multiple storm systems developing over the Pacific Ocean. Storm number one, our bomb cyclone producing widespread rain, some gusty winds as it rolls its way in from the shoreline. But you'll notice that another low pressure system starts to develop. This is storm number two. It will start as we work our way into the later half of the week. But there's something very interesting happening. Notice this is the center. And these two low pressure systems are dancing around each other, otherwise known as the Fujiwara effect. And that means that storm number one will once again pay us another visit by the time we work our way into the weekend. Although by the time it makes landfall for its second time, that's where we anticipate it to be much weaker. Feeling the brunt of it right now with those gusts expected to reach close to 60 miles per hour for some of our coastal locations. The I-5 quarter nearing 45 miles per hour. By the time we get to Wednesday morning, all of us will start to see those winds taper off as that bomb cyclone starts to drift its way back over the Pacific Ocean. Now, as far as the wind advisories, the high wind warnings, again, those are going to be in effect through about 4 a.m. tomorrow as we are still picking up on widespread and heavy persistent rain indicated by those yellows and oranges, especially out towards Washington and Columbia County. That there is snow falling over the high terrain of the Cascades. That's where the National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued blizzard conditions for the central Cascades of Washington. The rest of us here in the Cascades of Oregon just expecting to see nearly a foot to two feet at some of our highest elevations. As our snow level drops down to about 4,000 feet over the next several days, you can see the impacts really bullseye Mount Hood as we could see feet of snow by the end of this week. A great sight for the skiers and snowboarders after we managed to celebrate the unofficial official start to the ski season just last weekend. But look at all of those yellows, oranges and reds, the strong gusty winds all associated with the bomb cyclone moving through tonight. So anywhere from about 9 to 3 a.m. is going to be our window of opportunity for the strongest winds, the heaviest rain and the most amount of snowfall. We keep that wet weather trend taking us into Wednesday as well. Filling up those rain gauges, you'll notice close to about three tenths of an inch, a half inch for our coastal spots as our seven day forecast does put an end to the coin six weather alert as we work our way into Wednesday. You'll notice that some of those gusty winds actually helping us to warm things back up. Mid 50s we're talking about and then we slowly start to dry things out every once in a while. But keep in mind the Fujiwara effect. That's your term for the day. Going to continue to keep those two low pressure systems dancing out over the Pacific, keeping the wet weather across our region all the way into the start of next week before we start to cool things back. Mm -hmm. So this is really just round one. Yes. Great. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thanks, Josh. <laughs>